They're just coming on. Okay. Good afternoon, John. Um, lovely chatting to you. Um, hello, everybody. Uh, my name's Sue Ellum, I'm the founder of Soul Free Connecting. And today I'm speaking to John Osborne, who's a naturopath. Um, John is one of our very valued authors um, on the Soulfully Connecting website. Um, our URL is www.soulfully-connecting.com. So, hello, John. How are you today? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Lovely to see you. Yeah, and you. Um, so, I, I want to let everybody know exactly who you are and what you do. So, the first question is, who are you? Who, who's John Osborne? John Osborne is, by training, an engineer who, at the age of 23, who had a stressful life, realized that if you take the chemical route, you are not going to be healthy. And so I learned, thanks to a customer, that to get over the stress, you go the natural route. And he put me on Passiflora, Passiflora incarnata, which is the equivalent of Valium without the side effects. And since then, I have hardly ever touched a chemical medicament. Ah, that's, uh, it, I think um, personal experience is the best thing, isn't it? You know, then you really know that something works. So, that's what, what drove me in. That's what drove me in. Yeah. So what do you actually do um, on a day-to-day on a -day basis? I run three websites and a rather large uh, base of information. The websites, one in French and two in English. The two in English are www.natural, uh, <laughs> excuse me, uh, www.happygirlcup.com uh, for the young ladies who use uh, sanitary towels and the tampons which are not labeled of the ingredients but are not good for the health at all. I also have homecures.co.uk which is the result of just about 40 years research into what is needed to keep healthy. And it covers pretty well all the regimes, naturopaths, phytology, enzymology, essential oils. We use them all. And so I am really uh, a cowboy because I have never had a formal training. There is no school that actually gives you the training of how to cover every type of bodily ailment. I don't pretend to make diagnosis or anything of the sort. All I pretend to do is to give people something that will work for them. So can I just ask you then, if you train to be a naturopath um, in today's world, it wouldn't give you all the information that you've garnered over the years? It would only give you some of it? That's correct. That's correct. There is no school which gives anything like the broad experience that I've gained. At my age of over 70, uh, I've spent years and years actually digging and um, finding contacts, finding sources, uh, to the degree that now I work with the world's leading experts on how to deal with all the severe illnesses, uh, and that includes arthritis, cancer, and so on, as well as the man-made illnesses like AIDS and Ebola, they're all treatable naturally. And that is not a formation you're going to find anywhere. And it's not widely known either, is it? It's not widely, um, the information isn't spread, because I know people who've got different things and they've been told their life threat, they've got them for life and they don't, they're not even looking um, for, for a cure because they've already written themselves off. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I've, got, I've got friends who, who uh, the medical profession have turned, them, turned around to them and said, you're dead. Just go home and die. Yeah. 
I've got two at this very moment. Um, one who runs a hotel, and it's a very apocryphal tale. This, he's got, he had cancer of the stomach. They cut him open. They put him in a hospital for three months, and then they told him, "Well, there's nothing we can do for you now. You're you're riddled with it." And one day, four motorcyclists came into his hotel for lunch, and he told them this tale. And one of them turned around. And he said, "Well, actually." We're specialists from Germany. Go and get some curcumin and you'll be cured. He came to us and as far as I know at the moment, he's on the mend. Fantastic. That's really fun. And I think it must be, and I hope lots of people actually watch this video um, just purely for that information because people are so frightened of cancer. They think that um, it's, it's a death sentence and maybe if you leave it for too long it could be i suppose but um but that actually it sounds as though it's always a possibility um of, yeah. of a cure you oh. know however bad it is cancer i actually i w w w when i produced my video um on cancer which is a precy of an hour-long lecture by the world's leading expert we actually say Almost nobody should get cancer. And I repeat, almost nobody should get cancer. And it's very, very simple because the modern world is geared for cancer. Look at how the cancer industry convinced the World Health Organization to put out a notice saying 28 million more people are going to get cancer. They need not. It's all the acid that uh, people are ingesting as well, isn't it? Through um, the, the the foods, the drinks, and everything. You know, um, I know that I've uh, read many places about uh, you can't get cancer in an alkaline environment. So if your body is alkaline or as close to alkaline as you can make it, which is lots of kind of more fruits and vegetables and things like that, then your body can't support cancer. It it uh, lives off acid. Well, it, 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 the reason that they found that curcumin works is simply looking where in the world is there no cancer, no arthritis, no Alzheimer's, no Parkinson's, none of these. And they found two areas, one in India and one in China. Mm. And so they said, well, what's, what's the reason for this? What's the, what's the base reason for all of this? And the obvious is diet. So they said, what, what, what do they eat? And the answer to it was, over generations, at least four or five generations, they eat at least one curry meal a day. And that has uh, uh, enabled them to virtually non-existent uh, lives or, 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 or of any severe illness. The, 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 the curry... Of course, the base of that is turmeric. Yeah. Turmeric carries 4% of curcumin. The Latin name for turmeric is curcuma. So the medical industry pushes curcuma in the certain knowledge that it doesn't work. Curcumin is what works. 4% of curcumin is about as useless as throwing ping pong balls at a battleship. It is absolutely it, 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 useless in any form. It must be at least 95% standardized curcumin. The product which I have, which is used in hospitals around the world and was given me by the world's leading expert, is 99.97% pure every single solitary time. That is what is needed. And that is really... Um that's really important information. It gives people hope, doesn't it? Really gives people hope. It should do. Well, it should do. Be because what, what people have got to understand is that the medical industry is, and it is the most powerful industry in the world. It's more powerful than the banks. It's more powerful than the petrol companies. Yeah. Now, if you then take the, the, the things which are clinically proven to work, 
okay? And the two main miracle workers are curcumin and serapeptase. Serapeptase is an enzyme. Uh, curcumin comes from a root, so hence there's no school which is going to, going to teach you both of those. If those were used in the medical industry, they could shut half the hospitals. That's, that was, a, that was a, a survey which was done about two, two, in the year 2006. Now, what's the medical industry going to do if it's going to lose half its, half its outlets? Maybe it, transfer over and become a bit more natural. <laughs> they yeah. they, they, they uh, simply just will do nothing to yeah. aid the people getting better. They are interested solely in making money. Yeah, I think that's um, unfortunately that is the way, and I think it's not just the medical industry; it's lots of it's lots of industries that um, the the money becomes more important than anything else, and um, and it's um, that's that's where that's why it's so important to get the information out so that people can see there are alternatives, whether they want to take up the alternatives or not. That's their business. But when people don't know their alternatives, I think that's what's criminal. I think it's denied them. Know, it's yeah. deliberately denied them. Yeah. Uh, where, I, where I live in France, for sake of argument, they don't even translate the papers. They don't translate from English into French the information papers. Uh, mm. and it, it is deliberately withheld. Yeah. I think the internet's helped a lot. Um, uh, there's lots of not very good stuff on it, but. Um, it's a source of information. It's, it's really important. Well, I think I can probably guess <laughs> the, the answer to the next question is why do you do what you do? Um, you're just so passionate about it all, so uh, but I'll let you answer. <laughs> uh, well, I've created two businesses uh, of, of this form before and sold them with the full intention of retiring. And then I get somebody sending me a note or an email or something. John, you can't. We've got to have the serapeptase. We've got to have the curcumin. Um, what do you do? What do you do? So <laughs> you know, we're there. We're not there for the money. We are. The, we're, it's fabulous when I get emails. Luckily, on a nicely regular basis, I'm well because of the products that you've got. That's all. That's all that matters. And to me, getting that information out to the people. I mean, look at what the medical profession did to Angelina Jolie. Look at the, at the criminal things that they've done to her. And if you try and get the real information to people like that, it is either ignored or blocked. She was cut up for money. It yeah, is, woman. yeah. Mm. Um, how, how, what, what her mental process is, I can make no comment whatsoever, other than the fact that somebody was not working in her best interests. Yeah, yeah. I know it's, um, my heart went out to her when I, when I heard about that. I thought, oh dear, <laughs> oh dear, yeah. It is absolutely incredible. Mm. So that must be, that must be some of the that must kind of come under some of the challenges that you find with the work that you do. If we can, if as we do, get just one person who is going to get better, then that's what it's all about. There, there, there is there is unfortunately a, a, a dark side to, to, to the natural health industry. And that is, there are people there who are in it simply to make money. Um, I mean, I, could, I, I, I can give you at least two products uh, I know of. One is a serapeptase product, and they put water in the capsules to lift the weight of the capsule. Yeah. There is very little in there which is going to do anybody any good. It's a big industry. A lot of the so-called small laboratory natural health uh, suppliers 
are actually simply nothing more than, than a hive off from, from big industry. They are, they're producing rubbish and they, this is why there needs to be a law which says the stuff, I, here's my product, test it. If it's right, it should work. If it's not right, shut me down. And that's, that's, a, that's a massive challenge because, you know, people will say, well, I tried that, it didn't work, so it's rubbish. Um, and you get, you get tired with the same brush, don't you? Mm, you do. You do. I mean, I, I, was, I was distributor for, for, for a certain product for some time, and I got so many people coming back to me and saying, it don't work for me. Mm. That was when I developed my own product. That was how I got into contact with the world's leading experts. I didn't look, I, I didn't pretend to say, I know what I want. I went to the people who know, and I said to them, please tell me, what is it we should have? And that's why I, I, uh, I can say with, I believe, the truest heart in the world, if anybody can find purer, better products than, than, than Home Cures, Serapeptase, and Home Cures Curcumin 99, then I would love to know about it because I don't think there is. Yeah. Well, there's a there's a challenge to put out to everybody. If you can <laughs> find something like that, then <laughs> let John I know. Pleasure. For a moment. I do it with pleasure. Yeah. 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 Um, and and we, we have to get over the fact as well that a lot of as as has been seen on the television, the people making med, the medicines in concrete mixes and, and this sort of thing. There are people like doing that in every type of industry. What we need to have is good stuff regulated well. There's no, regu no, no good regulation at the moment anywhere. And as, yeah. a, 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 as we both know, we need a concerted effort by the natural health people, the groups of us who are all separated I'm, I'm an acupuncturist, I'm a naturopath, I'm a whatever it may be. We should all be working together to produce what is a concerted effort to keep people well. Because there is a concerted effort to keep people not well. Yeah, that was, as we were talking, uh, I mean, we've had conversations before, and that's really the purpose of um, self connecting. Mm. Um, there's so many people that are destroying the planet and they've got a really strong network and when i first had the idea sorry it's going a bit funny my own reception the when there was a concerted i just wanted to try and uh, create something that brought people who wouldn't normally meet together um you know like organic farmer and in India could could meet um, you know a wind farmer in Holland or somewhere and if they they talked you never know what incredible ideas that they could come up with something that would be life-changing but mm -hmm. normally they wouldn't be in the same they wouldn't be mixing the same circles so I thought with soulfully connecting and I know it's a very large <laughs> idea um, but it's to bring everything under one roof so that people would easily find um, other people and find information that they might not even be aware exists. You know, so I could be on the link. The spectrum of, of the people that you've got, who your contributors. Yeah. You, you've got, you've got a, a big umbrella there. Um, yeah. if, if, only, if, only you, if only this idea you can carry forward and bring people like me and, and the other contributors so that we're all there. And then one day somebody says, look at this, there's hundreds of thousands of people in here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it won't be for lack of trying. Um, <laughs> we've, been, <laughs> we've, been, we've been going for a few months and it takes time to build up and for people to gain trust in you because there's, um, there's so many unethical companies that people become a bit, um, bit wary of new things coming up but all we can do is do our best and get the information out there and that's really the most important thing is mm. giving people choices um, I hate to see when people uh, truly believe whether it be to do, to do with help or anything else that they haven't got any options but they mm. always have options 
um, and they have choices, but it's when people are denied the knowledge of those choices, and that's what gets my goat more than anything. So just get the information out there, let people know we're there, and then the people who are interested, they'll, they'll come and find the site, uh, they'll, they'll wander in, there's lots of different information, yours, um, as well as many other things for lots of different, and we're always looking for new people um, with new experiences that can share their knowledge. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's, it, like you said, it's about getting the information out there so people know they have choices and they are, they can get control of their own lives again. You know, if I knew I had a really, I had, so say, terminal disease, I'd really like to know that I, I didn't have to put my hand, my life in someone else's hands, that I could do something about it myself. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really what, um, is what it's about, is just letting people know that, yes, you can put your life, you can take your, the power of your own life back. And Absolutely. you can, you know, by just either taking products, looking at emotional healing, and all those sorts of things. And then, uh, you know, you, you've, got, you've got the power. And that's really you have, we have the power. Look, look at the Tibetan monks, right? Mm. A Tibetan monk can die just simply by thinking about it, mm. right? Yeah. So we can get better by thinking about it, thinking about what we should do, how we should do it, mm. not simply following what's pushed at us on the television. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Thank you so, very much. Uh, and so what I can also tell, you know, what brings joy? What's a real joy? And I think you've really covered it by just having the people saying they're getting better. That must be the joy of your job. You know, it, 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 it is absolutely, for, for, for us, for my wife and myself, it is absolutely uh, the be all and end all. When we get somebody who says, I've been in a wheelchair. For the last x months whatever it is and one lady said she's got lymphatic um cancer uh, and i can't remember what the other problem was and she said frankly i was just just passing time yeah. now i'm living again yeah. that is that's what it really is what it's all about isn't it can't ask for more yeah john yeah it's been a delight delight talking to you um, for, for everybody else out there, um, we've got a monthly newsletter and John is going to be available to uh, answer questions on there. You'll see that this interview on there. Um, all you have to do is go onto the website and you'll find um, news and offers. If you want to subscribe, then you can send in your questions for John and he will, he will deal with those and answer. Or you can contact him directly on his own on his own website which is um john your website url please www.homecures.co.uk www.homecures.co.uk or there is a french one if you speak french www.mairnaturel.net <laughs> okay <laughs> no, no. Like all the french and canadians and uh, french speaking countries they know as well Thank you so much, um, and thank you very much for anyone that's watching this video, and I hope you've gained something from it. Okay, take care. Bye. Bye.